Okay, hi gang, this is um, section 4.1, which is inequalities. There's going to be four learning targets today. Number one is identifying solutions mentally. Um, number two is going to be identifying up by evaluating. Number three is graphing the inequalities. And number four is writing an inequality from looking at the graph. Okay, before we get there, to those, I just want to explain the difference between inequality and equation. Okay, so far we've been dealing with equations and we've been solving them. Sorry, I know this is a little bumpy here. Um, when you graph, if you remember how to graph an equation, when you graph x is equal to 3, all you did was put a dot on it. Okay, you're saying x is equal to 3. You had one solution, just 3. But now we're going to have multiple solutions. Um, now we're going to say x is greater than or equal to 3. So what it's saying is this is a solution. 3 is still a solution. But every number to the right of it, or greater, is also a solution. So now we have multiple solutions to this. If we have x is just greater than 3, now it does not include 3. So we do an open circle, because it doesn't include it. But it's everything greater than the 3. So it's every number to the right of 3, not including 3. So again, something to remember, when you have a dashed line or, or equal to, you certain you cert color in the circle because it equals to that number as well. And on the bottom, if it's x is less than 3, you just do open circle, and it's every number to the left of it because it's less than. And a couple, couple shortcuts, less than always goes to the left, LL, right is greater than, or you can follow the arrow. If the arrow goes to the left, it goes to the left. If it goes to the right, it goes to the right. But only if your variable is first. Okay? If your variable is to the right, it's going to be opposite. So I'm going to have you guys write your answer with the variable first. That way your arrow can follow your sign. Okay, so that's a quick lesson on between the difference between inequalities and equations. Okay, so number one, identifying solutions mentally just by looking at it. If I say my solution is x or my inequality, I'm sorry, is x is less than or equal to seven. The ones that are true is 7 and any of them that is less. So all of these are all solutions. The only one that is not a solution is 10. Okay. If it's x is greater than or equal to negative 2, it would be every one greater than negative 2 but not including the 2. So all of these are solutions. But this is not because x is equal to negative 2 not greater than. So these would all be not solutions. Okay, so just um, identifying them mentally is just looking at it. <clears throat> Again, if it equals to it, then you would circle the 7 with it, or it would include the 7. If it's not equal to, if it's just greater than, it would not include that number as well. And again, that would be the open circles on these graphs, because it doesn't include those numbers. Okay, so identifying them mentally, that's how you do that. The next one, I'm going to show you a couple ways of doing this one. Identifying by evaluating. So you're going to have to solve it. Okay. Um, I'll show you the first way and then the second way after. The first way the book is going to show is you take this inequality and you take this number and you substitute this number in for the x. So you go 2 minus 5 times 3 is greater than 13. And it goes 2 minus 15 is greater than 13. And this becomes negative 13 is greater than 13. And it's false because great negative 13 is not greater. So this is not, 3 is not a solution. Okay. The other way, the next one, you take this and now you substitute this in for the x. So you get 2 minus 5 times negative 4, I don't know, negative, so you can see it, is greater than 13. Okay. By PEMDAS, I'm going to do this one first. So I get 2 minus negative 20 is greater than 13. Or I can think of it as negative 5 times negative 4 minus negative 20. Either way, this is going to become a plus. Okay, you can see how I change it to a plus. And then it becomes 22 is greater than 13. And that is true. So negative 4 is a solution. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. You can just stick the number in and substitute it in and solve it that way. 
The other way, and I'm going to back this up so you can see both ways. Okay. The other way of doing it is, so in this case I had A and B. In this case I'm saying, is A a solution? Is B is B is 2 a solution? C is, is 3 a solution? And D is, is 4 a solution? The other way is just to solve this inequality and then use the mental solution, uh, identifying solutions mentally as another way. So in this case, if I just add 8 to both sides and I get 18 is less than 6x, divide this by 6 and I get 3 is less than x, so I cross this out and this becomes 1. What I'm going to have you guys do is write the variable first. So again, you just take it and you flip it over. So it becomes x is greater than 3. Don't forget, when you move this x to the left, you got to take flip the sign as well. So you can see in this case, the, the um, inequality is shooting at the 3. So when I flip it, i got to make sure it's still pointing at the 3 as well. Okay. Now here's my solution, is x is greater than 3. So when I look at this, this is yes. I mean, sorry, this is no. 1 is not greater than 3, so that would not be a solution. 2 is greater than 3, that would be no. 3 is greater than 3. Again, that would be no because it's equal to. So the only solution would be D, which is 4. 4 is the only number greater than 3. So again, there's two ways to do these. You can substitute in the number and tell yes or no by looking at what you come out with over here. You can say no and yes. Or you can just solve this inequality down, come out with your solution, and see mentally which one is true. And sorry, this should not be circled. I made a mistake on that. Okay. So that's learning target number two, identifying solutions by evaluating the inequality. Okay. Number three is going to be graphing. So you're going to graph your inequalities. So they, you can see they give you an inequality, and you need to just graph it. Okay. Here's how I want you to do it. Instead of making it hard by, by using all different numbers, just to make it simple for all of us, when you get a number like x is greater than 4, all I want you to do is go to the middle of yours and put a 0. Okay. Then take whatever number they got here and put it here and put the opposite one here. Okay. If it's greater than 4, I know it's going to be an open circle because it's not or equal to. So greater than is an open circle and draw your arrow to the right. It's going to be much easier to see. Just make sure you don't draw a small circle. So if I come to this one and I go 17 and negative 17, when I do this, I don't want to make a small circle because I can't tell if that's open or closed. So you can see this one is a clear open circle. If this is greater than or equal to, I need to make a nice big circle and then go above the line and make it that way. Okay. Again, I want your numbers below the line for the graph. The numbers go below the line. A nice big open or closed circle and then the arrow can go above it. It's sometimes just hard to see if, you're, if your line is like this, if you do it on the line. So go ahead and make your line, I'm sorry, your arrow go above the line and that way it's nice and clear. Okay. So on this one, A is less than 5. Again, start with a 0. Put the 5. Put the opposite. I know it's going to be open circle. So it's an open circle, and it goes to the left because it's less than. Nice and easy. Okay. And you can see the next one is going to be B is less than or equal to negative 10. So I put my 0. Put my 10. Put my negative 10. It's going to be a closed circle on negative 10 because it's less than or equal to. So a nice big closed circle on negative 10. And less than or equal to, the arrow goes to the left. And you can see it just goes like that. So you can see nice clear graphs on how to graph these. Again, real quick, greater than or less than is open circles. Greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, closed circle. So if you want to think of the, the inequality as your circle, and then if you have a line underneath it, it means you fill it in, you can do it that way, if that helps you to remember it. Okay, so that's graphing your inequalities. Number four, the fourth learning target is going to be writing in the inequality from the graph, going backwards. So here I got four graphs, and we're going to write the inequalities for it. You can use whatever variable you want. I'm just going to use x, just because it's easy. So I'm going to, you always write the variable first, x, 
and I can see it goes to the right and it's closed. So it's going to be right and closed and it's negative 3. Okay. This one, it's going to be x is, it goes left and open. So left and open doesn't mean, means I don't put a line. I'm just to the end of it. This one is going to be x is goes to the right. So right and open means no underline. So 22. And this one, if you think about it, I'll give you a second. What do you think it'll be? Okay, you are correct, because I know you're good. It's less than or equal to negative. Good job. I knew you could do that. Okay, so that's the four learning targets. Here is your two homework checks, two simple ones. Number one, here's my inequality. Tell me which is true. A is negative four. B is 0, C is 4. You can do it three, uh, two different ways. You can take each number and insert it in or substitute it in and tell with, if it's true or not. Or you can solve this inequality and, again, use mental math to see which are true. More than one can be true. So your answer could be A and B. It could be A, B, and C. It could be A and C, etc. Or it could just be one answer. Okay, so there could be more than one answer here, but I want you to tell me all of these that are true and just use the answers, okay? So in the multiple choice, you'll have different answers. Be careful. Homework check number two, write the inequality for this graph. Okay, write it for this graph. Do those two homework checks. Please um, do the homework check on Edmodo now before you come to class. So have it done before you come to class, but I still want to see this work in class. So please bring this work on a piece of paper. You can do it on the back of the agenda or on the paper right before you do your homework. Have these two homework checks and then start your homework. So bring these to class, but do the Edmodo homework check prior to class. Okay, hope this helps. Have a great day or great evening, what time it is, and I'll see you later.